So uh, my wife and I, uh, we've been married uh, six years now. Congratulations. Uh, so six, thank you. Six years ago, um, we decided that uh, instead of a, a regular wedding uh, where we invite a bunch of people, we wanted to have a wedding where we invite zero humans. <laughs> and this was before and, the pandemic, so you were doing this because you wanted to. Yeah, yeah, because we wanted to. Uh, you know, we're we're different, and we wanted to do something different for our wedding. Um, and uh, so the only way we could invite zero humans is to have a, a robot conduct the the ceremony and be our um, our marriage commissioner. Uh, so we we got a little humanoid robot. Um, it, it was, was a, a uh, it was a now, yeah, um, and. Um, we, they have nice programming tools so that um, you don't have to write everything from scratch. You can kind of like, um, like pose in simulation, like the, the arms to make gestures. And they have a nice uh, like community where you can download pre-existing uh, dances and things. Apparently dancing is the killer app for these robots. People love to watch the robots dance. <laughs> so uh, we, my, my wife actually did uh, most of the programming um, and scripting um, and we put together, you know, a little like comedic um, script for the wedding. Then with the power charging me, most literally from this lithium ion battery, but also figuratively from the mighty California bureaucracy, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may now share electricity through your faces. Um, there were jokes about um, Oh, geez, about binary, about um, circuits being scrambled, about her programming being wrong and me needing to, to correct her bugs. Um, you know, cute, funny stuff that was not offensive in any way. And and then we we conducted the ceremony. You know, the, the robot was was there and uh, we actually had the whole thing videotaped. Um, it happened on Google campus uh, because at the end of the ceremony, uh, we got in a self-driving car and, and rode away. 